In this nugget, we're going to look at investigating ecosystems. So what is ecology? Ecology is the study of how living things relate to each other and to their environment. A habitat is the place where an organism lives. It usually provides food and shelter. An organism is a living thing. The environment means the conditions surrounding an organism. The environment includes things like temperature, weather, soil pH and light levels. How many red flowers are there in this habitat? It's easy to count that there's three, but how many purple flowers are there? It's not so easy now there are more things to count. If you like, you can pause the video and see if you can work out a quick way to estimate how many purple flowers there are in this field. If I add this grid, does this help you to estimate the amount of flowers in the field? In ecology, we want to know which species live in a habitat and how many there are of each one, but it's often impossible to count every single individual, so we take samples from the habitat. Sampling is collecting small amounts of data about a population so that you can make an estimate about the whole population. But we have to make sure that the samples we take are a good representation. For example, this square has no flowers in it. So if I just sampled that area, I'd say there were no purple flowers in this habitat, which is clearly not true. So how do we make sure that a sample is representative? Which of these statements do you think is true? The most popular computer game in 2018 was Fortnite. The most popular computer game in 2018 was League of Legends. The sample of the first was 35 year 8 students and the sample of the second was 7 million gamers. So what about now? Did you change your mind about which was the most popular game? Why did you change your mind or not change your mind? Sample size is very important. The bigger the sample size, the more likely your conclusion will be accurate. Accurate data is close to the true value. So if we have a look at this question, Hafsa is 171 centimetres tall. She is measured by two different people. Person A measures Hafsa as 168 centimetres tall, and person B measures her as 172 centimetres tall. Which person's data is more accurate? Person B's data is more accurate. It is one centimetre away from the true value when person A's is three centimetres away. Now we're going to look at a very important piece of equipment for ecologists, called a quadrat. A quadrat is a square frame made of wire or plastic that is laid on the ground to outline a sample area. Quadrats are mainly used to count plant populations, but may also be used for slow-moving animals, for example slugs and snails. Your sample area is one metre squared. That's because each side is usually 100 centimetres by 100 centimetres. Some quadrats come in different sizes, but the most common is one metre squared. To take a measurement with a quadrat, you place the quadrat at a random point in the field. The area is normally given in metres squared, so remember to convert from centimetres if needed. Count the number of organisms within the quadrat, repeat steps one and two as many times as you can, and calculate the mean number of organisms per metre squared. So let's have a look at this using our flowers and sample them. If a flower is right on the edge of the quadrat, I will count it if 50% or more of it is inside the square. So this is our first sample. We have one purple flower. In this one, we have two. In this one, we have one flower. In this sample, we have two flowers. In this quadrat, we have no flowers. In this quadrat, we have one flower. In this quadrat, we have three flowers. In this quadrat, we have two flowers. Remember, I'm counting it. If a flower is on the edge, if 50% of it or more is inside the square. In this quadrat, we have one. And in this quadrat, we have one. If I add all the different quadrats together, it will total 14. 
So I have sampled 14 flowers from this field. This field is 9 metres by 5 metres. To work out the area of the field, we multiply 9 by 5. 9 multiplied by 5 is 45. So the area of the field is 45 metres squared. OK, so now we will do our calculation. The area of the field is 45 metres squared. The area of our quadrat was 1 metres squared. And we took 10 quadrats. If we took 10 quadrats and each quadrat is 1 metre squared, then we sampled a total area of 10 metres squared. There were 14 flowers in 10 metres squared. And we can use this information to work out how many flowers there were in a typical 1 metre squared. 14 divided by 10 gives us 1.4. So there is around 1.4 flowers in a typical 1 metre squared of this field. If the area of this field is 45 metres squared, then 1.4 multiplied by 45 will give us an estimate of how many purple flowers there are in the field. So 1.4 multiplied by 45 is 63. So our estimate of that field is 63 flowers. There are actually 59 purple flowers in that field. If we increase our sample size, which means to take more quadrats in this case, our estimate should get more accurate. So let's have a go. If we go back to our flowers, these are the 10 quadrats we took originally. If we increase our sample size and add on three more, we've got 13 quadrats. In those 13 quadrats, we have 17 purple flowers. You can pause the video and count for yourself if you'd like to. So, the area of the field is still 45 metres squared. The area of the quadrat is still 1 metre squared. But now we have taken 13 quadrat samples. The total area sampled is 13 metres squared. There were 17 flowers in the 13 metres squared that we sampled. So we can now work out how many flowers there were in a typical 1 metre squared. 17 divided by 13 gives us 1.31. If the area of the field is 45, then 1.31 multiplied by 45 will give us an estimate for the number of purple flowers that are in the field. 58.95 is much closer to the true value of 59. This makes it more accurate than our previous estimate. 58.95 is much closer to the true value of 59, so it is more accurate than our previous estimate. To summarise, ecology is the study of ecosystems. It includes the living and non-living parts of an area. It is often impossible to count every single individual in a habitat. We take samples and use them to work out an estimate of the total number. The bigger the size of the sample, the more likely the data is to be accurate. Keywords. Organism. A living thing. Habitat. The place that an organism lives. Environment the conditions surrounding an organism. Ecosystem, a community of organisms along with the physical environment. Sampling, collecting small amounts of data about a population so you can make an estimate about the whole population. Quadrat, a quadrat is a square frame made of wire or plastic that is laid on the ground to outline a sample area. Accurate, close to the true value.